Hi, I'm Evan up at Just for Parrots, and today I am wanting to talk to uh, the first-time bird owners. Um, it is, it seems like it's a daunting thing to get into birds. Um, you might see prices and, and a lot of um, things that go into the care and things like that, but it's really not as scary as it looks. Um, there is a pretty decent amount that you should definitely expect. Um, and the biggest number one thing is you need to know what you can have in your meat. So you don't want to go too big um, and um, in case you live in like an apartment or a duplex or you have uh, a lot of roommates or you're with your parents even or anything like that. Um, so today I'm highlighting some of the best first birds. Um, these ones here are parakeets. These are wonderful for even just not only first time bird owners but very experienced bird owners. Um, they uh, usually travel around in, uh, in multiple, um, multiple indi individuals, um, as well as you can have them solo if you're teaching them to be hand, hand tamed. Typically they're not, but you can definitely teach that. Um, these are lovebirds. Um, they are also really, really good for first time birds, um, as well as for children looking to have something that they can handle. Um, and uh, these also do not have to go in pairs. That is kind of an urban legend. Um, if you want to have a pair, they will bond with one another and then you can't handle them. So as first time owners, I would only do one, but you want to make sure that you become their bird buddy. And then over here is cockatiels. This is the biggest for a starter I would go. Um, if uh, there are some that are braver that can go bigger, but cockatiels is just a really nice middle ground. They're friendly, playful, um, and just wonderful birds all around. They are a little, you see a lot of these, so they do kind of tend to be a little generic, but they're great to learn on, um, and they, they live for a long time. So um, great, especially for children. Um, all, everyone we got is babies. Um, as first owners, I would strongly, strongly suggest doing um, babies first. Uh, if you go with three homes and anything like that, that could be extremely difficult. Um, so just a heads up, but if you're brave enough, you can definitely do it and definitely try, but uh, just be very wary of that. Um, now, as far as everything you need to start out with, um, the best thing is uh, proper cage size. Some birds require bigger, some require smaller. Um, this down here is the perfect setup for a first time owner. Um, I would do at least two toys for a younger bird, um, a two pound bag of food, which would last you upwards to about a month, and then a decently sized cage. This is a, a good cage definitely to start out with. Um, as the years go by, you might want to look and upgrade, get something a little nicer um, and with a stand and such. But um, at starting out, this is perfect. We raise them in here. Um, they go from plastic bins to the, the this size cage here. And then that's how they learn how to live inside cages. I'd like to touch base on some rehomes. I get a lot of questions about that. Um, but just to start here, parakeets, wonderful first time birds. Um, they're they sound awesome. They're really, really fun to observe. Um, and they only run about $25 each, so they're fairly cheap. Um, over here is Lovebirds. Um, awesome for children. Um, very handleable, very friendly. They run about $150. Um, and then over on the far end there is the Cockatiel. Again, awesome for first-time owners, awesome for children. They're very cuddly, very friendly. Um, and they run about 200 bucks. So none of these guys are super bank breakers because you, you might surf online and see things that are like thousands of dollars and that's definitely, you definitely don't need to do that. But um, that these are awesome first time owners. And then down here um, is uh, a great little starter kit and that will run you about 60, 70 bucks. Um, and uh, now I would like to talk about rehomes and for that we're gonna go visit Bella. All right, and this is Bella here. Um, she was a rehome, and uh, I, I really wanted to touch base on the rehomes. Um, they can be wonderful birds. Um, the biggest thing to know is typically they are, are older. So if you're looking for, um, when you're looking at birds, you definitely want to take age into consideration. Um, and you, you really got to know what you're doing when you're getting into rehomes. Um, or even just larger birds if you're looking at larger birds um, to start with. Um, Bella is a really good example of what happens when you don't know what you're doing. Um, she was horrendously mistreated uh, in a very neglectful situation um, and it caused her to be extremely stressed um, and she actually had ripped all of her feathers out. Um, a lot of this is scarred um, and since we've got her, we've been able to nurse her back pretty well. She is, um, she doesn't pick anymore, which is really, really good. Um, she's just caused so much damage to her skin that uh, a lot of it is just not growing back. Or it's just 
checked back incorrectly. Um, she is, she does have some trust issues, and that is something you kind of have to get over when you're dealing with the bigger rehomes. Um, it took me over a year just to touch her, and it took mom and grandma, the owners, over two years just to get a tank. Um, so really, when you're looking at rehomes, you want to make sure you can, you, you need to know what you're getting into and if you can handle that. Um, now, not all rehomes are in this condition, but unfortunately, most kind of are. Um, they either have plucking issues like this, they can be overly aggressive, or they scream horrendously. Um, now, again, that's just a generalization. A lot of people have different um, experiences with rehomes. I've met rehomes that are some of the greatest birds ever, and you're kind of asking yourself, why was this bird ever rehomed? But uh, in a lot of cases, they're kind of in this type of condition. So if you can handle this, go for it. If you're a first-time bird owner, I would strongly suggest not, but if you're not brave enough, um, you could definitely try your hand. Just truly know what you're doing. Um, do some research. Um, and if you have anything uh, that you kind of question or unsure about, you can definitely contact us on Facebook, come into the store, or give us a call, and we can lead you in the, in the right direction. Um, and so first time for what that's all I got for you today. Um,